Now, Passepier, so um, looking at bars one to 12, we're putting that hands together. And again, take them in little short sections, chunking, we call it in education, I think. Um, so the first chunk, if you like, is up to there. So one phrase section, all right? And I've put in these little signposts to keep you moving. So the first one you want to aim for is that one. Okay. Then the next one is that because you've got that tricky bit in the left hand which you're not yet comfortable with. So keep working at it. And then the next one is there. There's a lot more going on in that one. You've got this fingering in the left hand to, to work on and a little bit of fingering work in the right hand at the end. So practice that section a little bit more together. Going up to middle C in the left hand. Okay. Um, then carrying on, you put this together absolutely no problem really. And I think it will help the rhythm in the right hand. So I'm starting now at the last bar. I would say if you want to put a signpost in there, I think it's getting to that first beat in bar six. Okay, then you've got the same repeat again of the same section. Okay, and in your practice, you could always start with that second phrase, do that first. It's good for your reading, actually, because if you keep playing from the beginning of a piece of music, you learn it by rote, if you're not careful, um, by habit, and therefore you're not reading in the same way. So it makes you really work hard at reading if you start in the middle there. So start with that second phrase first sometimes with your practice. You'll get to know it a lot better and be more confident. Then maybe do the first phrase and then maybe do the third phrase so mix it up a bit now moving on from bar 12 so starting on the last note all right because the previous two notes belong to the previous phrase all right the music starts on an odd beat it starts on a third count and all the phrases do the same generally that one doesn't but most of them will start in the same fashion so when you're practicing you need to start if there is um, an upbeat if you like to a phrase, you start with that note, not the notes before. You've got to separate them out into their little sections. So anyway, we're starting from the last note then, or the last beat of bar 12. So some finger work to do in the right hand. You've got fourth finger on D, then change to the five, run these quavers down, go up to E, then we've got a repeat of that pattern, change to four, change to five, Okay, now this pattern is stopped here. So we do another five, then we change to the four. Now onto bar 18. Squeeze the four next door to D. Second finger to B, and you should end up on your third finger on C. Okay, then um, that's as far as we're going, isn't it? Because I was saying it sort of repeats itself a bit, but um, don't go any further. All right, and then the left hand, you've got a little bit muddled today with this. So I'm starting with that last G. So that's top space G in the bass clef, which is a fourth away from middle C. Then your note you're going down to in your left hand with your fifth finger, that is B, because the lines of the stave are G, B, D, F, A. All right, which is G, B, D, F, A. Okay, and you're going to the second one of those, which is the B. Right, and then you go back up to the G, then following down the quavers, then going up to A, oops, and then carrying on with A, follow down the quavers. Now again, it doesn't continue that pattern. We're going back to the, the G with the second finger, F, now into bar 18. If you want to write these fingers in, four on E, two on G, then the thumb on A, the F, you could put the third finger. Take the thumb next door to the G, stretch the octave, and use the second finger on that last C. 
So I would just work at that section only hand separately.